He crossed deep chasms on rickety bridges, navigated through dense forests teeming with unknown creatures, and faced the challenges of the unforgiving wilderness. Yet with each trial he grew stronger and wiser, and his determination only deepened. One day as Omar climbed higher than ever before, he stumbled upon a sparkling stream that meandered through the mountain's rocky terrain. Its water was so clear that he could see fish darting playfully beneath the surface. Overhead, a rainbow formed, casting a mesmerizing array of colors on the rocks. Omar knelt by the stream, dipping his hand into the water, which shimmered like liquid diamonds. He felt a profound sense of peace and wonder, as if the mountain itself was welcoming him and offering a glimpse of the beauty that lay ahead. Continuing his journey, Omar eventually reached a place on the mountain where an old and twisted tree stood at the center of a magical glade. It was a tree unlike any other he had seen, with leaves that seemed to shimmer with a faint inner light. Approaching the tree, he heard a soft, melodic voice that seemed to be carried on the wind. It was the voice of a gentle, mystical creature, a deer with silver fur and large, wise eyes. The deer approached Omar, its presence radiating an otherworldly grace. The deer didn't speak in words but communicated through a language of light and music. It gestured toward the ancient tree, indicating that Omar should approach. As he did, the tree's leaves rustled, and a soft, enchanting melody filled the air. Omar felt as though he was in the presence of something ancient and sacred. The deer's message became clear to Omar. The tree held a key to his journey. It was a key to understanding the wisdom of the mountain and the purpose of his quest. With the deer's guidance, he placed his hand on the tree's gnarled bark and closed his eyes. In that moment, Omar felt a surge of insight and understanding rush through him. He saw images of the people he had met on his journey, the challenges he had faced, and the lessons he had learned. It was as if the tree was showing him the interconnectedness of all things, the beauty of the world, and the importance of his quest. With a sense of gratitude and reverence, Omar thanked the mystical deer and continued his ascent. He was now closer than ever to the summit of the mountain, and he could feel the presence of the Star of Wisdom drawing him closer. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Omar reached the mountain's peak. The air was thin, and the sky seemed to stretch infinitely above him. At the summit, he discovered a radiant, glowing star of wisdom. It was perched atop a pedestal of gleaming stone, its light pulsating with a mesmerizing rhythm. As he reached out to touch the star, he felt a profound connection to it. It was as if the star contained not only the wisdom of the ages, but also the collective hopes and dreams of humanity. As his fingers made contact with the star's surface, he was filled with a surge of knowledge and insight that flowed into his heart and mind. Omar knew that he had a responsibility to share this wisdom with others, to bring the light of the Star of Wisdom back to his city and enrich the lives of its inhabitants. With a sense of purpose that burned brighter than the star itself, he carefully cradled the radiant gem and began his descent from the mountain. The journey back was just as challenging as the climb, but now Omar had the wisdom of the mountain and the power of the Star of Wisdom to guide him. He navigated the treacherous terrain with newfound confidence, relying on the lessons he had learned and the strength he had gained. As he descended, he encountered the wise hermits once more, who recognized the change in him. They smiled and nodded in approval, knowing that Omar had truly embraced the wisdom of the mountain. Finally, Omar returned to the bustling city that had been his home. The people marveled at the radiant star he carried and listened eagerly as he shared the wisdom he had gained. He taught them about the importance of kindness, 